Are you looking to buy your first drum kit but have no idea where to start? Stick around. What is up everybody? Welcome to Behind the Beat. My name is Chris Langan and today I'm helping you buy your very first drum kit. All right guys, so I've been, I've been wanting to make this video for a very long time, but it's a very tough video to make. Uh, one of the biggest questions I get asked by my students and their parents is, what kind of drums should I buy? You know, uh, when they first start taking lessons, they're moving from the pad to the kit, it's time to buy a drum set. And most parents have no idea what they're supposed to be looking for. You know, and that's fine. But the reason why I've had such a tough time making this video is because there's just so many options out there. And while I'd love to say, uh, you know, get a Yamaha uh, with minor cymbals and, you know, everything that I have here, Realistically, uh, nobody wants to fork over thousands and thousands of dollars right off the bat when they're buying their first drum kit because who knows if they're even going to stick with it. But at the same time, you don't want to buy a toy or something cheap. And I'll, I'll get into all that in a little while. One of the biggest things that I was looking for uh, when doing this search was completeness okay because as most people probably know maybe some don't when you go to buy drums nine out of ten times drums are sold as shell packs which means you're only getting the drums all right so for someone who's never bought drums before now you've got to go and buy the cymbal stands and you've got to buy the cymbals and you've got to buy your pedal and your throne and it could just get overwhelming really really fast so i wanted to find something that was complete in the fa in the fact that you don't have to really search for all the odds and ends in doing my research and um, trying out some kits over the last month or so uh, I've come to a conclusion and I think I've found the perfect kit or kits for a beginner drummer who is looking to get their first drum set. My conclusion, the Pearl Roadshow. All right, now Pearl is a really, really well-known brand. They've been making drums for, God, for as long as I could remember. Um, and they just, they make really quality, quality gear. Now, the thing that's cool about the Roadshow series is that there are actually four drum sets in the series. So you can kind of figure out, depending on what route you're going as a musician, what kit will suit you best. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go in and break down the specs of each one of these kits, give you the price points, tell you what every, uh, everything that comes with it, and hopefully help you make your decision in purchasing your first drum kit. All right, so let's get into it. The Pearl Roadshow series. So the Pearl Roadshow series is available in four gig ready setups and four durable wrapped finishes. Now a wrapped finish is something different than, than my drums. Mine are actual wood uh, w a wooden finish. You're seeing the wood of the shell. Uh, a wrapped drum is basically a uh, some type of plastic wrap around it, and that allows uh, it makes it a little bit more. You have a lot more options that way as far as colors and and different designs you might want to have on your drums. And those finishes are charcoal metallic jet black, wine red, and bronze metallic. Now each of these kits 
has a nine uh, nine ply poplar shell. So that means all of the drums are made from nine plies of poplar. Okay, each kit is going to come with a chain drive bass drum pedal. That's a good thing. Uh, each kit is going to come with a cymbal stand, a hi hat stand, and a double braced throne. So double braced is also very good, whether you're uh, on the lighter side or a heavier person. Double brace is a really sturdy stool. You'll have no problems with it. So let's dive into the first of our four kits in the series. The first kit is the Fusion Kit. Now the Pearl Roadshow Fusion Kit comes with a 20 inch by 16 inch bass drum, a 14 inch by five and a half inch snare drum, a 10 inch by seven inch tom, a 12 inch by eight inch tom, and a 14 inch by 14 inch floor tom. So to put that in perspective, that is exactly the sizes of the drums that I play. Now, with, with the exception of my snare drum, uh, I've, I switch snare drums quite a bit. So, uh, but a standard snare drum is usually 14 by five and a half. So the toms 10 by seven and 12 by eight, and then 14 by 14 is the floor tom. Okay, and the bass drum 20 by 16. Okay, now as far as cymbals go, all of these kits come with the same set of cymbals. You're going to get a 16 inch crash ride and a pair of 14 inch hybrid hi-hats. So a crash ride is basically the best of both worlds. You're getting a combination cymbal. This cymbal right here is a ride cymbal. This cymbal, this cymbal, and this one over here, these are crashes. Okay, so your crash ride symbol is a combination of all of these. So you can ride on it or you can crash on it. Now your pair of 14 inch hi-hats are these guys over here. They're the two symbols that are gonna sit on this stand. And uh, you know, this is the, the pedal that you're gonna have to open and close these guys, all right? Now, the fusion kit is trending at around $479. All right, let's dive into our next kit in the series. This is the Pearl Road, Pearl Road Show Jazz Kit. The Jazz Kit comes with an 18 by 12 bass drum, a 13 by 5 snare, a 10 by 7 rack tom, and a 14 by 10 floor tom. Now, to put that into perspective, your bass drum is 18 by 12, so that's two inches smaller than the bass drum that I use, but that that's fine, okay? Your rack tom is a 10 by seven, so that's gonna be the same size as this one right here. And your floor tom is a 14 by 10. So it's the same diameter as this floor tom, just shallower, okay? Now, the reason for these smaller sizes and the reason you're only getting one rack tom and one floor tom is because that's a traditional jazz setup. The smaller drums are meant to be, you know, produce a lighter sound. Think of jazz music. Um, jazz drummers aren't necessarily banging away on cymbals and doing crazy drum fills. So if jazz is the direction you are kind of going as a drummer, this might be the perfect kit for you. Now the jazz kit is trending around $399. And again, that comes with the cymbal stands, um, the pedal throne, and the two cymbals, or the crash ride and set of hi-hats. All right, let's move on to our next kit. The next kit is called the New Fusion. Similar to the Fusion, the New Fusion differs slightly in the fact that the sizes are a little bit different. All right, 
Our kick drum is going to be 22 by 16. Comes with a 14 by five and a half snare, a 10 by eight, a 12 by nine, and a 16 by 16 floor tom. So to put that into perspective, the bass drum is gonna be two inches bigger than the bass drum that I normally play, okay? The uh, toms, you've got a 10 by eight rather than a 10 by seven here, so it's a little bit deeper. You've got a 12 by nine for this one. Again, a little bit deeper. And your floor tom is a 16 by 16, so not only is it wider, but it's also deeper. So these are just bigger, bigger dimensions of the drums. They're going to produce a little bit bigger of a sound. And, um, you know, they're not very, very different from the regular fusion kit. But uh, you might find that you'll get a deeper bass drum sound from having those two extra inches, as well as with the toms. Now, the new fusion kit is trending also at 479. All right, on to our fourth and final kit, the Pearl Roadshow Rock Kit. We have a 22 by 16 inch bass drum, a 14 by six and a half snare drum, a 12 by nine, 14 by 14, and 16 by 16. Now, this kit is set up a little bit different than the other ones, okay? You've got a 22 inch bass drum. We've already talked about that. It's about two inches bigger than the bass drum I currently use. The snare drum is a 14 by six and a half. So it's got the standard di uh, diameter, but the depth is a lot bigger. It's going to be a deeper sounding snare drum, okay? Now, as far as the toms go with the rock kit, you're getting your 12 by nine uh, tom racked, okay? And then you're getting two floor toms, the 14 by 14 and the 16 by 16. This is a very common and popular way of setting up uh, drums in a rock setting. If you look at drummers like John Bonham, this is exactly how he set his kit up with one rack tom, two floor toms, okay? These drums are bigger, deeper, are gonna be a lot more punchy and deliver a bit louder of a sound than say your fusion or jazz kits. All right, now that we've gotten through the drum kits, what I would like to mention is the symbols that are gonna come with these kits. I've gotta be honest, they're probably not going to be the best symbols in the world. Actually, I can guarantee they're not going to be the best symbols in the world. But to get started and to save yourself the aggravation of going out and finding symbols and stands, you really can't go wrong. Um, especially if you're still learning, it is something to play on. It's going to make a sound. It's going to do what you need it to do. Now, you can always upgrade. If you really aren't happy with the sound of these cymbals, you can upgrade. You can purchase uh, maybe another stand or two if you'd like to add an additional crash or uh, a splash or some other kind of effect symbol. But what I wanted to do was give you guys a couple of the cymbal packs that are on the market that you could purchase to replace the cymbals that are going to come with these kits. Now, these cymbal packs are made from the top three cymbal companies out there, Zildjian, Sabian, and Meinl, okay? They are their entry-level cymbals. So, normally, when a company sells a cymbal pack, they are more of an entry-level cymbal. Um, they do sell the, you know, more expensive, uh, top-of-the-line cymbals in packs, but we're talking thousands of dollars. So... Let me start off with a, a brand you've probably heard of before, and that is Zildjian. Zildjian has a symbol pack. It's called the ZBT P103. Okay, now that pack is going to come with a set of 14-inch hi-hats. You're going to get an 
18 inch crash ride. And when you buy this pack, you also get a free 16 inch crash symbol. Okay. This pack is trending at $214.95. All right, let's look at our next symbol pack. And this comes from the company Sabian. Sabian offers the Sabian SBR Performance Pack. In this pack, you'll get a set of 14 inch hi-hats, a 16 inch crash symbol, and a 20 inch ride symbol. This pack is trending at 185.49. And last but not least, Minel symbols. Now, Minel is the brand that I use. Their uh, their pack is called the Minel HCS 1314 Plus 10S. Okay, they aren't the Byzances like these, but they are a one of their entry level models. Now, the Mi the Minel HCS pack comes with a pair of 13 inch hi hats, a 14 inch crash a 10 inch splash symbol and a pair of Promark 5A drumsticks. Okay, and that pack is trending at $99. All right, guys. Now, like I said, you don't have to buy the symbols right away if you don't want to. If you do, those are some great starter symbols that will sound a lot better than the symbols you're going to get with the Pearl Roadshow kit. Now, in the case where you've got, for example, the Zildjian pack or the Minel pack where you're getting uh, three symbols, well, actually, you're getting three in every one of those packs. So you're going to need one additional stand since your kit is only coming with one symbol stand and one hi-hat stand. And you can find symbol stands very, very inexpensive. Uh, PDP is a great, great company that makes inexpensive symbol stands. So you could pick one of those up for like maybe, I think they actually have a, uh, a double, uh, double pack, boom, uh, boom and straight for like 50 bucks. So that wouldn't be a bad idea to pick up that because you eventually will want to get more symbols in the future. All right, guys, I hope this has been helpful. Like I said, the Pearl Roadshow series, it, it really has all the options. Uh, four different kits. It's coming with everything that you're going to need. One of my students actually owns the Fusion kit and brought it to one of uh, her lessons here with me. I tuned it up, played it, and I was really impressed with, you know, the quality of the hardware and, and everything with, with the kit. So I highly recommend it. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of the products I mentioned, head down to the description below. I've left you links for each one of the kits and all of the symbol packs. Now, I do have to mention that these are affiliate links and I will get a small kickback if you do decide to go with them, but it does not affect the price you pay whatsoever. So I appreciate you using the links. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below feel free to email me at chrislangan1981 at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, my own website, chrislangandrummer.com. So if you have any questions or need any advice with any of the things I've talked about, feel free to reach out. All right, guys, I hope this has helped, and I hope you have found your very first drum kit. Now go get it and go practice. We'll talk to you soon.